Yesterday I did a video about the latest home app, version 16, that is going to blow our mind away with One UI 7 because it offers really a lot of customization, specifically on animations, but also so much more. And guys, I tried so many things to get it running on my S24 Ultra, on the S23 Ultra, also on A53. So I really want to take a moment and thank Ujval and everybody else helping me with this. In this video, I'm going to show you a bit of the real thing. And again, guys, when I say real thing, this is intended to work with Android 15 and One UI 7, right? But at least now I can show you just something more than screenshots. And I do believe that you're going to like this video. So what is new here? Home gesture animation tuning. You can see that in One UI 7, you'll have the option to just turn it off. And this is, by the way, good because a lot of people are just asking, hey, what is going to happen with animation comparisons? Now everybody will be able to set the animation based on what they prefer, which I do believe is good because it's individual. Some like it fast, some like it slow, smooth, etc. But all of us, we like it stutter free, no luck. So I'm thinking with this setting, home gesture animation tuning to off, it's going to be pretty much stuck, right? Really the way Samsung team meant this to run. But if you are not happy, right, of course you can click on. And then guys, here we have three options. The pixel by pixel, enjoy the feeling of pure animation, which I believe is gonna be really a very quick animation. Then we have something called the scent of a certain fruit, which <laughs> a lot of people think that this is aimed at a company, fruit-based company, uh, you know the name. And then this here, which is actually the coolest because it says simple tuning, fast or emotionally, your choice. And see here, guys, if you go to the right, yeah, you are manipulating this bar here. And if you go to the right and we get to dark blue, this is the fastest one, all right? So this is the fastest one. But if you go to the very left, then you get an emotional one. And I really like this. By the way, I'm not sure if you can feel this, but the moment I just drag this slider here, I can feel the haptics on my phone already. A lot of you also ask, hey, is this going to correlate with haptics? I don't know, but just the interface alone, right? See, just the interface alone, work with haptics. So I hope that indeed this is going to be the case. Now also there are some tips. Gesture tuning settings only apply to home gestures in swipe from sides and bottom gesture settings, which means that if you are on your home screen, right, and you do swipes left, right, going back to the home screen, this is when you can experience them. And advanced tuning requires various attempts. Check how it affects the animation by changing each factor one to one. And yes, there is advanced tuning. You can go inside the settings and tweak even more. If you're not happy with the pixel by pixel or the scent of a certain fruit or the simple tuning right here, you can of course go to advanced. And this is where the real show begins because here we have a few sections. The first one is the icon move. Then we have the icon scale. Then we have the icon tracking position. And then we have the wallpaper. And then we have the home screen. So you can potentially tweak all these different elements with various of settings, starting with damping. You can change the damping of the icon move animation, the smaller like this. So the smallest value now confirmed 0 0.7 and you can go up to one, all right? So 0 0.7 is the smallest one and one is the highest one. Then you do have the stiffness, which will affect the icon move animation. The larger, the faster it's gonna move. So 900 is now confirmed the highest stiffness and then 50 is the lowest stiffness. And then you have the friction. This is the friction of the icon move animation. The larger the value, the faster it stops. So again, one zero is the highest friction and zero to one is the lowest one. So just imagine you can go inside the advanced tuning and tune all of this. This is only for the icon move, but we do have the same for the icon scale. And this is going to change the icon scale animation. So again, we have damping, one or highest one, zero to seven. Lowest one, we have stiffness, again, 900 to 50. And then guys, there is something called the interpolator, which is just so sweet. You can change the interpolator of the icon scale animation. So let's say you're not happy with this, right? Like you think it's too complex and you have to play with a lot of variables, right? Click here, boom, All right? This is, I think, gonna be a game changer if implemented correctly and rightly. Right now, I'm even not sure what does correct implementation mean, but I think it should allow us to really fine tune all the animations the way we want. So you can see we have here the X axis and the Y axis, right? So you can just play around with this and this is the explanation. We have the so-called cubic Bezier curve, X1, Y1, X2 and Y2. And this is used to adjust the horizontal and vertical changes in the size of the icon. So X represents the horizontal change of the icon, while Y represents the vertical. And the values X1 and Y1 are involved at the beginning of the animation 
and X2 and Y2 are involved in the latter part of the animation. So let's say when you're closing it. And as the value increases, there will be a relatively faster change. So with these new settings in One UI 7, you're gonna be able to really fine tune the app's opening and closing animation. You have some basic values here for the horizontal and vertical change of an icon. So it's 0011. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Okay, so if you go from here, it's gonna be like a basic one right and then you can do really whatever you want right now there is no way for me to test this i think it requires really android 15 and one ui 7 so most probably a lot of other things such as the home ui should be updated not only the home app but this is going to be really a killer feature now back inside the advanced tuning we do have the tracking positions for the icon so the larger the value it targets the position of the icon one or the highest one Zero, zero is the quickest one. So I guess this is gonna be crazy fast. And then guys, wallpaper. This is zooming in, zooming out of the wallpaper. I do believe this is it. You can change the max scale of the wallpaper animation with one O being the lowest one and two O being the highest one. And then also the duration of the wallpaper animation. This unit is in seconds. So you can do two seconds, right? And the lowest one, let's say if you want a quick, no animation whatsoever. Or let's say you can just adjust it to something like this, absolutely crazy. We do have also the scale for the home screen, again with scale and with duration. We have also a reset button. In case you mess it up, click here, everything's going to reset. Then we have also blur. You can turn on blur when going home with a gesture. This is an on and off setting. Right now, of course, this is as much as I can show you. But guys, this new home app is not only about animations and scaling and icon positioning whatsoever. Why? Well, yeah, you guessed it correctly large folder settings on and off this is the large size this is the medium size and you can also change the folder grid and again this is a real hands-on so i'm showing you the options you have four by four three by three two by two okay so we can just do whatever you want and you can also change the icon size see here guys with the slider bar this is absolutely fantastic so small all right or medium or large and of course if you don't like this feature it's just and on and off thing. There's gonna be also the pop-up folder and the pop-up folder also will have two options. Small one, this one, medium sized, and then large size. And you can see, by the way, this also changes here, the preview. Detail settings, you have a variable size, pop-up size adjusted to the number of items, which is dynamic, which means the more icons you put in a folder, Right, the size is going to increase, or at least uh, this is my interpretation. We have a fixed position. Folder is going to always open in the center, which is also nice. Hide edit bar, hides the folder editing function, the one that we have right now. And then you're gonna be able also to remove the blur from the background. There's some other things. Switch to previous apps with gestures. I do believe they exist right now, so they're not so much interesting. Also the bottom gestures, which of course I cannot show you, but I do believe that this thing here together with the advanced tuning and with the interpolator is going to be a game changer. Why? Well, first, because again, One UI is going to offer unprecedented customization option to every user without root. By the way, even right now, I do believe that One UI is probably one of the most customizable operating system without the need of rooting your phone or just installing 1000 apps, right? You just use good luck in the modules and yeah, I know there are limitations because good luck is G-restricted, but there are ways to go around this. And with these new options, you are going to be able to tweak everything related to animations, apps opening, closing, home screen, zooming in, zooming out, with very, very small portions, very, very little fine tunings, which is, I believe, crazy. And I really hope that this is gonna make a huge change in One OS 7. And if you have enjoyed this video, guys, I'll be glad if you sub to the channel. Thank you so much. Stay safe. VST over and bye.